So without further delay, let's get started. The first award in the category of administration and finance is the Transurban North America for the project P3 Innovative Financing of the I-395 Virginia Express Lanes. Please welcome Michael DeCenza with Transurban North America. Uh, thank you, everyone, David and IBTTA, for this uh, honor. On behalf of Transurban, really happy to accept it. Um, we're going to start out with a quick video about the I-395 project, and I'll give a few uh, comments after that. So if we're ready, we can roll the video. Here at Transurban, we are so excited to be opening the 395 Express Lanes this fall. It's going to mean new travel choices for our customers. It's going to give us an opportunity to continue to drive the economy here in Northern Virginia and provide that seamless connectivity between the 95 Express Lanes and Washington, D.C. This is one of the most critical economic corridors in the Commonwealth of Virginia, home of large military sites and home to new growing employers like Amazon. I think we've always focused on providing choice um, so that you, you can choose to pay, but you can also choose to carpool. Um, you can choose to ride a bus. We're also seeing some improvements on our general purpose lanes and then the improvements that are being made at the Pentagon. The Pentagon Transit Center is the largest uh, transit center within the Northern Virginia region. So the bus loop that you all created for us has now allowed us to not impact the pedestrians in the area, not impact the traffic, the cars that come through that area. The buses have their own private loop. The project is also delivering a sustainable funding source for transit for a generation. We have a program called the Commuter Choice Program that uses toll revenues from several of the hot lanes in the area to fund more transit. So it's a definite connection to providing more options. For the 395 Express Lanes, that's not just about delivering a construction project. It's about being a partner to the community for the long term. Transurban has been a supporter of our work primarily through our medical clinic. We offer some medical services to people that are homeless and uninsured in the community. And with Transurban support, we've been able to provide um, medicine for them, some lab testing, as well as general supplies to keep our clinic up and rolling. So the 395 Express Lanes represents another success story of what has been a more than decades long partnership between the Virginia Department of Transportation and Transurban. VDOT is a leader nationally in using innovative solutions, including public-private partnerships and tolling, to be able to meet the needs of their constituents, deliver high-impact projects to help get people moving and drive the economy. Having a P3 gives you the ability to do, to do projects potentially with very low federal investment. So it does give us a mechanism to finance projects that we might not otherwise have. It does certainly add you know, another piece of successful P3 delivery that we've done in Virginia. Our state is one of the leaders and I would say you know, Transurban is a huge part of that success. Looking at what we have now, uh, it's just amazing. I'll be glad to see the project completed. The ability to get through that corridor reliably um, is a big part of uh, my daily experience. From the Transurban team, I want to thank our partners at the Virginia Department of Transportation, the Pentagon, the City of Alexandria, Arlington County, Lane Construction, and all of the other stakeholders in the community. By working collaboratively together, we've delivered a transformational project on time and on budget. So that's a little bit about our, our little project. Um, let's see if we can get to the next slide. So for those of you who may not be familiar with the Washington, D.C. area, here's a, a picture of uh, the, the Washington and Northern Virginia region. And what you see in, in green are the, the two projects that we have uh, under, under operation right now, the 95 Express Lanes project 
and the 495 uh, Capital Beltway Express Lanes project. And the project we just were talking about, 395, is the purple uh, extension inside the Capital Beltway there that goes from Springfield, Virginia, up to the Pentagon and the Washington, D.C. line. So as uh, you saw from the video, a pretty critical bit of infrastructure connecting uh, Washington to the Commonwealth of Virginia. Um, and then we are currently working on the, the other purple um, spot on the map there, the 95 Fredericksburg extension, which is a, about another 10 mile extension of the existing express lane. So uh, we just closed that financing um, about a month ago and hope to be back here, maybe, uh, maybe winning another uh, award in a couple of years when we get that under, uh, under operation. But the 395 is, is being delivered on time and on budget. We're less than two months away from bringing it into operations. Um, so we're pretty, pretty excited and hyper-focused on getting that done. This slide shows a little bit of the magnitude of transurban investment in the Commonwealth of Virginia and how it's grown since we first started back in 2008 um, with the Capital Beltway extension, uh, express lanes, and going from just under $2 billion of investment to a little more than $4 billion in about 10 years. It's a pretty major investment, and it's an indication of Transurban's business model, which is long-term commitment to the uh, partnership that we have with VDOT and the Commonwealth of Virginia. These are long, long-term concessions. They go out to uh, 2080s, which is really hard to believe. Um, but it's pretty fundamental that when we enter a, a market, we're there for the long term. The one on the right shows the, um, the I think, the magic of a public-private partnership and, and how the Commonwealth has been able to leverage a pretty minor investment in the scheme of things. Um, to mobilize the amount of um, investment that, that Transurban can bring to bear on not just the construction, um, but it was, as mentioned earlier today, the O&M through the life cycle and for that concession period, as we said, it's a pretty long uh, tail, so we're in it for the long, long, long haul. So what does 395 do for the region? Well, I mean, there's a, we just went through it on the video. I don't need to read this, um, but it's changing an existing uh, HOV lane, two lanes, into three lanes of, uh, of hot lanes um, down the median um, against the, uh, inside the general purpose lanes and uh, connecting Springfield to uh, the Pentagon. So why, why is this innovative and uh, why did we win the award? Well, there's, there, I think there's a lot of things. It's a, about a $500 million project. We used private activity bonds, which has been a, a core um, a bit of our financing strategy at Transurban. Um, and then we also used a $45 million loan from the Virginia Transportation Infrastructure Bank, which was also, uh, I think, the largest uh, such investment made by the Commonwealth. It's sort of like a, a, an analog to TIFIA and that it's a subordinated lender, and we utilize that um, bit of financing as well. And per perhaps one of the most um, innovative and um, transformational things that, the, that we were able to deliver in this project was a $15 million uh, commitment to pay to the Commonwealth of Virginia per year through the life of the concession. So over the life, it's over two and a half billion dollars. Uh, we think it's one of the largest private investments in funding transit uh, anywhere in the, in the US. So that was a big part of getting, getting to yes on this one. And then you see a little bit about the market demand, this was, um, because it was an add-on to the existing 95 Express Lanes project, um, the, the way we structured it and the, the features um, of the, the project were such that we were able to deliver a, a credit rating upgrade, and that was a really well-received story to the investors in the bond market. So we were heavily oversubscribed, drove down the, uh, the spreads that we wound up paying, and, and it was just exceeded our expectations. So. You know, we're just building on the track record that Transurban has, uh, delivering on uh, our, our promises, and, and you see it in the, in the results. And we talked about that. So what do we do? What are the benefits? We're adding, you know, capacity and time savings, um, a huge economic impact on the area in terms of jobs, over $500 million in economic activity and 600 jobs in the region. Uh, we talked about the transit investment and enhancement to the regular lanes and the Pentagon parking. That was really the first time we'd ever worked with the federal government in that way, or the Defense Department specifically, and, and they bring their own 
um, you know, standard operating procedure. So that's been a bit of a challenge. We've also had to deal with uh, Washington, D.C. and the district uh, DOT in addition to, uh, to VDOT. So kind of a complicated uh, stakeholder engagement, but we got it done. And, and we're, as we um, just finished in construction on that one, as I said, we're, we're expanding the express lanes further south and, and we continue uh, to build out the network in Northern Virginia. So I think with that, let me just conclude on the P3 benefits. You see the picture there of uh, Amazon and the uh, HQ2, which no doubt you've all read about in the press. Um, we found out that um, there's a big, a big part of how the state was able to attract Amazon to this Northern Virginia location was from some of the resources that we were able to bring to bear, um, and the you know the certainty of long-term infrastructure and. Um, you know, traffic uh, congestion relief was a big part of why Amazon decided to be in Northern Virginia. So we're pretty excited about that too. And that was not even in our, our base case, 25,000 plus jobs. So let me conclude with that. We're about to, to uh, open and we'll have a, um, this will be sometime in middle of November. So we're less than, than 60 days away and we're, we're uh, really excited. So let me conclude with that. Thank you very much again on behalf of Transurban. Um, we're really pleased to, to be here and uh, I look forward to catching up with you all. Oh, oh, later. Thanks.